lovers, my name is Nagas and I post videos all about books, reading vlogs, and so much more. In this video, I am doing my fall ebook haul. I have just bought these books recently and I wanted to share them with you guys. So normally I don't buy physical books, even though I love them and whenever I get the chance to buy them, I will. But I don't normally do it because I read most of my books on ebook form, so it's just easier for me to buy the ebook copy and normally the ebook copy is cheaper, so that's why I go that route. But yeah, I still love getting physical books, don't get me wrong. But let's get straight on to the video and the books that I got. The first book that I got was Red, White, and Royal Blue by Cassie Red, White, and Royal Blue by Cassie McQuinston. I think that's how you pronounce their name. But yeah, I picked this one up because so many people had been talking about it and it just seemed like a really fun, like contemporary. And yeah, that's why I got it. I love contemporaries. I think this is gonna be a really great springtime read. So I'm excited for it. The next book that I got was Sea Fire by Natalie C. Parker. I got this book because I had saw the cover of it and I was like, I'm getting it. It is such a pretty cover. I don't really know what it's about. I think it's about pirates and maybe like a mystery. Don't quote me on that. It's probably a completely wrong description of the book. But yeah, that's really all I know is that it's about the sea. And I'm all for books about the sea. And this one sounded like, as I can remember from the synopsis, like a really kind of spooky read. So I'm really interested in it. The next book that I picked up was Sock Hill Girls by Claire Legrand. I picked this one up because so many people had been talking about it and I was like, okay, I need to see what all the hype is about. I think it's like a spookier book. I'm not exactly sure. It was in a few people's October TBR. That's why I got it. So I think it's kind of spooky, which I'm always for spooky books. The next book that I got was Lantern's Ember, The Lantern's Ember by Colleen Hawk. And I got this one and nobody had been talking about it. I thought it was so weird that nobody's talking about this book because it sounds like the perfect like Halloween read. It's about this guy, I believe, who's like a guard between our world and a magical world. And somehow this witch kind of sneaks past him and comes into our world. And now he has to track her down and bring her back and it just sounded amazing. So I was like, I'm gonna get ya. So yeah, I picked up that one and I'm super excited to read it. The next book that I picked up was People Like Us by Dana Mel. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing that author's name right. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I say this in like every video. I'm really bad at pronouncing names, words, anything like that. But I picked this one up. I just saw the cover. It looked interesting. I know nothing about it. Like seriously, nothing about it. So I just picked it up on a whim. The next book that I picked up was the Bells by Daniela Clayton. Daniela Clayton, I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> yeah, it's the Bells. And basically it's about this world where these people are Bells and they control the beauty in this world. And our main character wants to be like the best Bell to the queen, but she finds out like what being a Bell is all about, like the real meaning behind it. And there's like this mystery. So it sounded interesting and I wanted to read it when it first came out, but I never picked it up. So, and a lot of people had been talking about it. I know when it first came out, like wanting to read it. So I decided to get it cause it was on a really good sale. So I picked it up. The next book I picked up was Meet Cute by various authors and this is just a bunch of short stories that are contemporaries and it sounds really cute. I love contemporaries and I was like, I'm going to pick it up. It's definitely going to be more of a spring summer read for me so I'm not going to plan on reading it anytime soon but I picked it up so I could have it. The last book I picked up was Spellbook of the Lost and Found by Maria Fowley Doyle. I saw this in someone's video recently and I was like, okay, this sounds amazing. It's basically about a bunch of kids who find a spell book. And I was like, okay, this is gonna be a good time. So I picked it up and I just can't wait to get to it. Also, the cover is really pretty as well. So some books have like amazing covers. I just, I don't know how they do it. They're really pretty and they draw me in. Um, of course, I will leave all the Goodreads pages to all these books down below so you can check them out, find out what they're about, you know, learn the author's name because I cannot pronounce them. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked any of these books, let me know what you thought about them in the comments below. If you liked any of these books, if you have any of these books or read any of these books, let me know what you thought about them in the comments below. Leave your book recommendations as well in the comments below. I love finding new books to read. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. And don't forget to hit that bell to get notified whenever I post a video. Thanks so much for watching.